Yes, welcome to Paradise Nation Originals. This is part one of the movie called Married Me for Papers. So, married me for papers, please marry me. I'm single until somebody is serious. So, yeah, big up yourself. Uh, married me for papers, new movie. Part two is coming soon. So, continue to watch the old videos and the, the new videos because, yeah, watch, share, comment like subscribe subscribe and please to road to 50,000 subscribers please i'm at 30,000 now and i appreciate everybody that has been subscribing enough love let's start the movie Babes, babes, wake up, man, wake up. Yes, sir. Uh, remember, say, uh, you tell me to wake you up, you know, because you have to start work at 9 o'clock. Mm-hmm. She can't come jog with me, too. Babes, you know I don't like jogging. Because you get all too fat. Really? Fat? Babes, I don't like that word. All right, you're not fat, you're thick. All right. I'm going to hold a beard and... Uh, Hopefully by that you will get up and get some stuff done. I remember say you have the clothes them we you washed from last night and you know. B, you give me so much work. I'm have to work every day. Alright. Alright, mega mega beard. Mega beard. B, you know I have to go to work. You can make me some breakfast. Babe, you know say you know say me in the kitchen and a friend. But so when I live in my yard, she cook and wash and do everything for me. She knows so that I can't cook. But do what you have to do. I'm going to be here. Alright? Alright, what do you say you're going to do now? You know, I say I'm going to walk and see if I get one work. Because honestly, you stay home busy and I'm going to stay free. Alright, yeah. 
When we get paid a week, we just get a little thing out of it. It's not much, but we just get a little thing. We don't really want to help us to go to college and assist, but you know where go. The Chinese people don't really pay much money, you know, so we make a get a piece of money here. All right, so look more here. Ah. All right, later. Good morning. Hi, morning. Um, you know that I'm looking at work, any domestic work and anything like that. Why would a young girl like you look for domestic work? Well, to be honest, I have a couple subjects, but I just want a little work to save up some money to send back myself to school or something. Oh, okay. I do have a lot of domestic work, but I don't have too much money. I work from home. But maybe you can come once a week and I can find you some work to do. Just help out with some cleaning and, and washing. To once come in. a week? Yeah, girl, I don't have so much money. I have a lot of work to do around the house, but I don't have money to pay you. So I can offer you, say, 2000 per day and once a week you can come in. Two grand? Yeah, girl. Why not three five? Three five? Yes. All right, how about we do 3,000? No problem, I will work with that. You can cook? Yes, I can cook. All right, you can come every Sunday and cook Sunday dinner and do some washing, but we have to wash by the river, you understand? You know, I never told me your name. My name is Vanessa. Vanessa? Yeah. All right, I'm Sharon. All right then, Vanessa, you can come, let's say, 8 o'clock on a Sunday. Let's start this Sunday, all right? So make sure you come on time, okay? Okay, no problem. All right. Babes, just don't leave here. Give me five minutes. I want to talk to you and I want to make you a cup of tea before you go, all right? All right, no problem, babes. Me the right, just me wait, all right? Yeah, thanks. So, what do you say you want to talk to me about now? You don't put no sugar in that tea. I did, B. No, man, the tea fresh, man. Babes. Sometimes I feel like you don't appreciate me. Why if you say I don't appreciate you? You can't answer that, man. But, I mean, all right. What do you say you want to talk to me about now? We've been together for one year. And we discussed it already. I need to get married to you so I can stay. Otherwise, I have to leave Jamaica. I tell you, say, I don't think some marriage is uh, uh, my thing. I feel like I just me don't want to rush into no marriage. It's not that I don't love you, you know. 
But the whole marriage thing, boy. I don't know. I don't want you to go back home, I don't tell you a lie, but why marriage thing, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see too much people, they're unhappy together, and as soon as they're married, everything just fall apart. So right now, I think I'm ready for no marriage thing yet, you know. I think I want to wait a little bit more. One year to me is not enough time for me just to jump married. So I could try to see if we can make a couple little link and try to see if we can renew your work visa or something. But marriage, marriage, marriage have to just one week, yeah, man. If I don't alone, you have to talk about me, I have to go to work, you know, because I'm late. Really, babes? That's how you do me, man. If I anything later, just make sure you say you cook. Fish and something in the fridge, make sure you cook later. Jovi! Jovi! Oi, me a come! Alright, forward, me not carry it for you. I got it. I think say, I think say I got work today in a night and I drink tea. No, I have night shift today, that's why I never remember to text you and tell you. They change my shift. Alright, but you know some I do want to chat to you about too. Yeah man. Go on. Huh? What time if you reach around though? Reach around 10. Go on. You know some my woman tell me say she wants to marry me. I tell her I say, yo, I don't depend on that you know, man. She has a boy. She discussed with me already and she asked about if I'm not married to her, she has to go, go back and find because her, her, her work visa got up. So married to her? You know, I'm not the marriage thing. Everybody who is married, their marriage is mash up. So, right? I'm not the on that, you know. How am I married? If I'm here, I used to say, I thought, you know, I'm married. I'm a big man now, it's time for a second down. Marry the girl, make sure she get her thing, and you know, you love her. And she look like a nice girl. so. Do the thing, do the right thing. Help her. Get me say? You know what? I'm late for work. Later. Yeah, later. man, all of a sudden you're late for work. Why are you weird? See you later, though. You don't answer me. You're lucky. <laughs> I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand and damn I feel like no one takes accountability, they want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours It takes to get some power, don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower, scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder and f*** all the doubters They're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm off at these f***ing clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown Hello, this is SHL International Sharon speaking, how can I help? Sure, I can definitely look into that for you. Just please let me know what's the problem again. Okay, no problem. Um, just give me your name and your... Okay, would you please let me know your TRN number? Okay. Yeah. It looks like you haven't paid your last bill. This is why you're having issues. Yeah. So the outstanding balance is 21,000. Yeah, but you have to pay it now, otherwise I can't really help you with that. Okay. Yeah, but we, we can't process without you paying the bill first. Okay. All right. 
Okay, well, once you pay that, then you can process with the um, papers and we can make sure it's done, okay? All right, thanks for calling. Have a great day. for the work. What work? You said I should be here 8 o'clock. Today is Sunday. A Sunday today? Yes. Oh God. All right, come on in. All right, you can start from here. Just pack it up, make it look nice, okay? Okay. And you see, sweep up the floor. I'm up it too. I don't really know anything about you. And, and you know you're in my house. I would like to know a bit more about you and your life and you know. Mommy, I know say, I come from a small family. Just me and my brother. And my brother work, but not much to send me back to school or anything. So I'm on my own trying to work some money to save up to send back myself to school. Mm -hmm. It's kind of sad, but I'm happy that I managed to help you, you know? I'm grateful. Yeah, we can work this out. Because you see, if you didn't come in the house, my boyfriend, like, he really overworks me. He don't really help me. And, and he says he loves me and I love him back. But you know I'm here on a, on a work visa. You, you probably know that already. You hear the accent. And I came here to work on a work permit, but in reality, I need to get married. And, and, and my man wouldn't marry me. I don't know, I don't know why. He said he loves me, but he says he, he's not ready for marriage. And the only way for me to stay here is to get married. No, I love Jamaica so much. The culture, the people, the food. And I really, really want to stay. I'm, I'm working here, Jamaican salary, and this is how much I love Jamaica, you understand? Yeah. Yeah. But my man wouldn't marry me. Really? Well, I might can help you in, a, in this situation because my brother is single and you help me out. So I can help you back out in that situation. Even if I need to pay, I will pay, you know, because I just, I, I really need to get out of this situation. So chat to your brother and, and, and see, because I'm a nice girl. I don't know if he wants money or, or you can just help me out, but I'm ready for pay if the need be, okay? I'm going to ask him. Okay. Thank you, girl. You're welcome. Mm. Yeah, if you can come in, just um, 
Maybe like Thursday, you can do Thursday instead? Yeah, no problem. Okay. Bye, baby. Oh, my God. Good one. Yeah, let me talk to you. Just a helper, I heard, B. You really mean to tell me say you hire somebody? Babes, I'm overworked. Take the time talk, take time talk. All right. You see, as long as you appear and my money talk more, that good. Really, babes? Well, I'm paying for her, okay? My money. All right, all right. Me not, me not quite still. Let me just I say. Just I say. Uh, you are, which one are you cooking? You are she. Can you say hi, I help you know? I'm cooking, she's just cleaning. Take time, time, take time, take time. Alright, I'm not too quiet. I'm going to be there and change my clothes and go into some dinner. Alright? Babes, but I work full time, clean full time, cook full time, sex you full time. I don't even have time for myself. Jesus Christ, alright, alright. And you all don't right. even help me, you know? Alright. Because it obviously obviously look like you want to hear everything, so mega beard, mega beard, mega beard. I shouldn't even say nothing to you. Do it, all right. Please. All right. Thanks. Hey, do you want me to go? You want me to go? Yeah, I'm going to go. I have a little emergency. I'm going to need some money for borrow like right now. Where you can do for me like about 10 grand. All right, here. I don't have 10 grand for me. But I have an account because I'm transferring to you. Then, because I still have the, still have the account <laughs> to my app, you know, so I can't, can't send it. Yeah, send man. It, send it, send it. That's alright, man. Alright, so no worries, so I'm going to do it, alright? Alright, thanks. You're good, though. Kind of, I don't know, but it's alright. Alright, everything's all good, man. Alright, later. Alright, later. Alright, thanks, cool. sir. Yo, yeah, no, sir, tell the truth. Mr. Chin, where's my pay? I'll lie at him. So, how oh, Mr. Chin for raise the pay and not give me extra pay? I may have do so much work down there, brother. All I packed so much bag, I almost broke my back. Let me tell you something. You need to check me to chin. Because a $5,000 is trying to put on my pay. Yo, my, but, what you like, you say, brother? I swear. $5,000, let me see it. See me. Okay. Right, watch, for sure, say. Sure, it's not a lie, I tell you. See, eh, $5,000 extra. No, sir. No, sir. As a man in me, I go to Mr. Chin. You idiot. Go to him, man. Brother, I don't know look normal working. I put down now, Mr. Chin. You better go a man in. First thing I'm on. Yo, brother, then I say that. I can't talk to you a minute, even. Mm. You know what? Me see a man in. Yo, Alton, you know I say the lady who made the one day work for she need look for help. What you want me to kill somebody? No, you idiot. Not like that. So, uh, what, what, what you want me to do? You know, say, um, some married business. You see me? She said she did on a work permit and she want married to get her state in the country. But she have an idiot man done there. But I'm not ready for married yet. So, I wonder if you could help her out for me. Well, Annie, I me, me, me understand clearly what you're trying to say. She come from foreign. For a work permit, she want, she like Jamaica, she want to stay here 
and she want to get her papers, right? Yeah. And she want married. Yeah. So she look good. Yes. She have money. No really, no really, no man. I want Jamaican, you know so. So. <laughs> me have to see about that, you know. Me have to see about that because me, if you go married somebody, you know, it rough for business. So what on? So what our man is about it? He do not know about it. I just me do my little business. Yo, Vanessa, I have to think about it. Big man thing. But you want to go to college and me don't know where the money already and I don't want to help you out. You should make this be an opportunity for you to chop a piece of money off her so you can go to college. You know that so she doesn't have it like that, but some of the time you, know, you have to consider you know, to help out others you know, because it could be you and it could be me. Anyways, come on, because me think about it. We have to have another chat about it here. Go up, go cook some food and uh, 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 eat. You couldn't, you couldn't wake me up. I said it late. At what time? 10.30, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Babe. Mm -hmm. I want to chat to you, you know. We just speaking out what happened. Um, I want to talk to you about the girl that came in yesterday. Um, what did she want and, like, who is she? Because... You know, somebody don't like, like you, right? I always try to ensure somebody tell you the truth. She's my ex. Yeah, she's my ex. And the reason why she came by yesterday, she wanted some money to borrow. Why are you giving money to your ex? And, and you know, we're struggling right now, right? I'm going to ask you for money for buy food sometime or do my nails and you say we don't have no money. All right. The thing is, we have a good relationship. Mm-mm. No, this is not. Me and my ex will have a good friendship. And if me in a one position where me need money for borrow, I can ask her. So if she in a one position where she wants money for borrow, me lend her, that's it. We need a one relationship. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Why are you in a good relationship with your ex? You don't have children with her. And, and you give her money, you prioritize her over me and our household. I'm not prioritizing anything. It's just that you have to understand the type of person that I am. If somebody asks me for help, me help. That's all. And as I say, help go where help come from. So she helped you before? Of course. Like me, I tell her, I'm in a position where I really need to help as it pertains to money wise, and she lend me. And that was just it. It gave her back, and that's it. It's not like if me lend her this time, she now give me back. She'll give me back. But if, if my ex comes to me and starts asking me for money and other things, I hope you don't mind that I'm going to give to them. You know what? Make me finish the conversation because it kind of get out of hand. Because if you all tell me, say, if your ex come and want money and other things, you will give him, you will go too far now. Never wash my face and brush my teeth. That's not what I meant and you know it. All right.
the courtyard. Now tell me see the bunny same foolishness from yesterday. You know. Later. My name is Kelvin Miller for work. Yeah, girl. Today I'm a day off. I'm a day off. I'm just like going to look out because the place is boring. I'm glad for the little day off, honestly. I'm tired and beat. What if you have? Oh. I can't manage with night shift, it has stressed me. I'm like, my head, I tear off when I reach in a night, a morning time. Like, I can't manage it. I can't manage Supervisor Blake, Mr. Blake, um, when is the next meeting? Three o'clock? Okay. Mr. Blake, I'm going on my break now, my lunch break, okay? Anything we need to discuss, we can pick it up in the next meeting, okay? All right. Talk to me now. Um, soon call you back. Yeah? How can I help you? You are Richard's ex? Yeah. What happened? You know what ex means? You exit his life. And mine too. Why are you still talking to him? Coming to the house, begging for money? What's the name again? Because um, I don't remember your name. First of all, Richard is my ex. We're close, first and foremost. And um, it all depends on what Richard think. If Richard wants to stop talking to me, no problem. If Richard decides he still want to talk to me, how are you going to stop that? Why are you taking money from my household when we have no food to buy and he gives you money? I didn't take money from Richard. I borrowed it from Richard. And if there's no food in your house, that has nothing to do with me. You talk to your man about that. I borrowed the money from him. I did not take it. I was going to give him back. And why is Richard going around and telling me my business? What do you mean? I your you business? Said. This is our business. This is our house. I live with Richard. We have a... We, then you shouldn't you, be coming to me. You go to your man. Why are you coming to me? You're coming girl, to my yard to this, me. You is the reason why we cannot get married. I'm the reason? Why you don't want to marry you? I mean, I, Richard came here and I encouraged him to marry you. I encourage well him. Well so I don't well know on. why you're coming to me and, and all up in my face at my home. I have family inside. Well on for a second. Richard came to you and, and he's chatting about our business. He's not chatting your business. He came to me as a friend. We're friends. Our relationship is way back when, years ago. We're good friends. He's there for me. I'm there for him. And that is just it. You're and not he supposed to, to be friends with your hex. What do you mean so? Because he's my ex, we should automatically become enemy? That does no. not make any sense. We're neighbors, hex. we grow together. Hex means exit the life. You're well, exiting, you're not supposed to be there. Well, sweetheart, go see a man and tell him that that don't have nothing to do with me. So you, you, you never necessarily come to me. You should have talked to your man and make your man come to me and talk to me. So you don't need to come to me and say, leave your man alone, me and Richard are friends from way back when. We, we were even friends before we got together. The relationship no work out because we're too much of friends. We know each other like that. Him really? there for me, me there for him. Him come to me about you and marriage. And I encourage him, I said, marry her. She looks like a nice girl and you love her. What a big deal. I got you, sir. Yeah, that's what I said to him. You can go and ask him. He came here and spoke oh. to me about you. So this and when, wasn't necessary. All right, so what did he say exactly? Why he don't want to get married to me? He did not say why he doesn't want to marry. He was just asking my opinion on the situation. But as I said, you go talk to him. He's your man. It wasn't right that you come to me. What do you mean, home. girl? You have nobody else to borrow money from? As I said, we're very close. He does favors for me. As I, I, I don't like you close to my man. You're not supposed to be close to him, girl. Listen, I'm not in the bag of talking. Nobody not supposed to hear my mouth. If I come here, come for war, start it. Come ever ready. 
Really? So if you come for war, you start it because I'm ever ready. You don't need to come to me about a man. I need another chatting. So if you want to get physical, let's get physical and get it over with. Physical? You want to get physical with me? No, you come to me. Of course I come to you because you're coming to my man's house asking for money. I borrowed the money. That is what we do when he, when when are he you has planning to problem, return the money. That is between me and Richard. And no matter right. of fact, me just like left the two on alone because this not make no sense. We're not supposed to inner this with no, no woman and them man. I mean, at worst, me and him not there. You're not supposed to do them things. You look how you're nice. You go to your man and talk to him. You don't do them things, the girl. Girl, last time I asked Richard for money, he didn't give me nothing. And you come in and he just gave to you like that. Well, I am sorry about that. That is not my problem. That is not my fault. As I said, Richard do, do favors for me and I do the same. He borrows from me and I do the same. That's just a friendship that we have. There's no ties, mm -mm. nothing to it. So you, you need to talk to your man and no. stop coming to me. That no make no sense. All right, stop the talk. Just, just Don't come to me. All right, then you leave from my gate, please and thank you. I would appreciate it. Have a great day. You too, honey. You too. Richie. What's going on? Well, I to talk to you about, you know. When you reach him, just stop on my yard and call me. All right, all right. That's all right. When we, when we reach him, we just, we just um, call him. Yeah, man. Don't forget, you know. All right, cool. All right. Hey, Jovi. Yeah. Can you reach us, eh? Yeah, ma'am. I'm there again. May I come? All right. Hey, what's going on? What's up to you now? You want to say a woman come to me this morning with arguments? Who oh, I come borrow money from me and she want back the money and I'm here the reason why you don't want to marry that. Ridiculous. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. I'm really sorry about that. Um, I'm sorry even to tell her. I apologize for that too. It's just that the day when you come to me, she asked me what that was about. I'm just, I just, never want to lie to her. You know what I mean? So I just tell her the truth. Eh? It's that money you come borrow from me. I mean, you don't have a good relationship with her. And I like, see, you're not going to give me back. You know what I mean? So I'm really sorry about that. As I go home, I'm going to talk to her about it. I'm sorry again. You know I'm in the drama. You know. So just talk to her when you go in and make sure you know. Because she even asked me about I tell her to talk about marriage. So just in case she asks you, I tell her to say, I encourage her to marry her. So All right. All right. No, no worry yourself. Me deal with it. Me deal with it. All right? Make sure you come in and no more confrontation. All right? All right. I'm sorry about that again. All right. Later. Yeah, man. Could you repeat that for me, please? Yep. Mm-hmm. One second, I'm checking. Sure. No problem. Cool, so I think um it looks like there's a there's a problem. Um, I'll need to contact the supervisor for you, okay? So we can look into it in more detail, okay? All right, so we're gonna call you back um, by 6 p.m., okay? Okay, have a great day. So, you ready to talk now? Well, all right, let's put it like this. What I really want to talk to you about is, you shouldn't go to Jovi. I yeah, should. yeah, I see her not too long. And she stopped me and said to me, say, yo, you come over there and I go on with one bag of things. I said, me and she there, and how me and her money and all these things. I don't discuss to you, I don't, don't explain to you already and tell her, say, me and she's not in a relationship. We're just good friends. Richie? Just last week I asked you for money and you say I have nothing to give me. And then and then she comes through and you just give her the money to borrow. 
So suddenly you have money? And, and I, I work so hard for the household to put food on the table, and you never have money to, to, to fix up the damn AC. You know, see how I sweat? And, and she come and... All right. It's not so much even about the fact that she borrowed money, because that gone and passed. It's the fact that you went to her and cuss her. I never expected for you to do something. It better anything but for deal with it, it better me deal with it in her house. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. I don't quarrel or nothing. But just as the next time a situation like this, you make me deal with it. Okay. Alright? Mm -hmm. Alright. And, and, and please, just stop believing me and she there. We're not there. We're just friends. So next time, all you do is talk to me about it. Alright? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on, hug me up, man. Sure. Mm. Alright? Babes, you have to prioritize the household, okay? Alright, me definitely do that, alright? Not Jovi, the house. Alright, alright, no problem, no problem, no problem. Me make sure the house and you is my number one priority, alright? Mm -hmm. Alright, alright. So, me have a whole show and you, know, you can probably just match up something quickly, alright? Babes, carry me got beard. Alright, alright, alright. Me have a beard and then we can go, alright? I'm there for a golf course, you know. You're up a golf course? Yeah. Yeah, who? I'm a female. A little nervous, you know? Why are you nervous? Remember, no, no relationship thing, you know? I just. You yeah, do it for your papers. Right. I guess so. Oh, and see my come. Come clean, nice brother. <laughs> I guess it's alright. Hello. Yo, bro, I'm going to go to some space I'm going to talk. All right. So, um, what's up? Um, I guess Vanessa told you a little bit about my situation. Well, she told me, but I'd rather hear from you, though. Okay, so I am on a work permit, right? And for me to, to stay in the country, I need to get married. Because if I don't, then um, they're kind of going to kick me out or I extend the work permit. But my man, he, he's not ready to get married. That's the issue. And, well, Vanessa said you can help me out. I helped her out. And she said he was a nice guy. So I just needed to marry me for papers. That's all it is, really. Um, honestly, I don't have a problem with helping you, you know. But, you know, that's my little sister, right? And... She want to go to college and I don't really have no money, but if I go do this for you, but I want to at least know so I can, she can get even something if she can pay a school fee so I can actually help her out. You see me? So this is me helping her out as my little sister. So if I can actually come up with something for gear, I don't have no problem with you if you just married for your papers. You see mm -hmm. me? And you seem like a very nice, beautiful girl. So I don't really, really not understand why your man wouldn't really want to marry you and it looks so nice. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense because I already hired her, right? What I can offer is that just give her one or two extra shifts and throw some extra money on it so that she makes more money, does less work, and she can go back to college, all right? 
email number. We need a lot of documents to collect and I'm just gonna give you a call and explain everything and then we set a date. All right, no problem. Can I just um, talk to Vanessa and then she can just pass on information to me. Mm -hmm. All right. Alton, right? Yeah, man, Alton. Okay. Yeah, this is our good spot to wash. Okay, but before we wash, I want to chat to you, okay? Hey, where do you want? Yes, where is it? Where is it? Babes, I think I found a solution to our marriage problem. What do you mean to find a solution? Well, remember, I have to stay in the country and I have to get married and you don't want to marry me. So, Vanessa offers some help. What, what do you mean Vanessa offers help? Well, she has a brother and he said he can help out and, and, and marry me so I can get the papers. That, that wouldn't be like a married thing, you know? That, that is just for papers so I can stay. Hold on, hold on. How that I go look for you married to somebody else and live in a house with me? I eat that you all, everybody in the community will take me for idiot. Do they really need to know? You don't want to marry me, so what do you do? Remember, so we talked about this already, you know? And we said, boy, we could at least try to see if I can get back your work from it. You know, you talk about going married to somebody else. Yo, I joke this, you know what? Yeah, Richie. Richie, I already told you the work permit situation is, is expensive, and, and my work said they're not going to cover the fee. So, you're going to cover 300000 for one year? Yo, 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 this, this, this is too much to me right now. I swear to God, this is too much to me. So, the best thing you do, I just finish washing clothes them and the way I do and then come down. May I go down? Right now you give me a head here. May I go down? Really, Richie? Yeah, later. When you come, when you come home, when you come home. You know, sir, I get to understand, sir. You find man 
Give me a woman for married. Me? Not like that. The lady just did that tell me her situation and me I try to help her out. So I asked my brother to help her out. Alright, you are all one. I don't want you nor your brother to do my woman now for you. Know. Because I try not try to mash up my relationship, you know. Look how long me and my woman are happy, happy, and she asked me about marriage and I tell her, see, I'm not ready. I know who can not put ideas in her head. Yo, you are going to go now. I just want to make you know, say, you no longer have to work here. Really? Yeah, man, really. So here, what you going to do? You're not going to tell a woman to tell us if you left, you know. You just want to tell her, say, you get a job and you get a better offer, so you're going to take it. What am I going to do? I do one look work for me account fan with when me I get three thousand dollar for help myself to go back to school. You should not think about that before you put your nose in my business. Boy oh boy. So when you try to help somebody, don't know me get the shitty part. If me didn't know me no help your woman, you know. I just start me the one visit you know, so just when my woman come, just make sure she tell her that. Alright? Don't let me have set you, I don't talk. What happened to you? You know, so I get a full-time job, so I have to go left the work and go do it. What do you mean, full-time job? Yeah, I get a full-time job. Why? I just hire your girl. Talk to me now, man. What, what, what's wrong? You know, so I'm there in there sweep and him stop me saying you want to talk to me. Then I go sit down. So when I sit down, he tell me I'm going to come back. Why? First of all, why are you chatting to my man for? You must say me I try to hook up you with my brother. So that's the reason. So you must talk about you. You come like me come here for much of female for your life. Are that what you must say? Yes, miss. Oh, God. So, 
How did you find a job so quickly? You know what I say? Your man came up to tell you that. Wow. Okay. You know what? Um, Vanessa, take take the rest of the day off. I'm, I'm going to chat to Richie. And, and um, I'm going to reach out when I'm ready, all right? All right. Okay. Sorry about that, dear. Yeah? Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away
Good evening and welcome to Paradise Nation Originals. My name is Alton Garden. Alton Garden Originals on Instagram, Paradise Nation Originals on YouTube. And thank you to everyone that has been showing their love and support. Big up, we are 30,000 subscribers now and we thank each and every one of you guys that's been subscribing, sharing the video, um, liking, commenting. If you don't mind, you can comment more. So we can know one of the thoughts and is it me? Big up to everybody that has been subscribing and uh, just a lot of work. Been doing a lot of work. Um both shooting for Richard Brown films, shooting for Paradise Nation, and you know the whole thing of so big up Richard Brown in the nice studio and all my edit and when we come off, I got edit again. So big up on yourself, thank you again. And right now, just in case someone is calling me you guys won't get me because my phone is mashed up by shooting and so yeah we need a new phone you know and so anybody who wish to help me get a new phone i'll be appreciated and big up on yourself big up everybody from the us the um england canada germany switzerland dubai africa brazil every everywhere we can't we can't tell an exact amount of countries that's watching us and the whole caribbean big up everybody from trinidad barbados doesn't matter big up everyone from grenada is not me big up on yourself big up send kids 80 everywhere you know i watch this from big up on yourself share share comment like so we can know one 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 here yeah? so big up on yourself thank you guys again and also we'll be moving to a new location soon so when we know about that so big up yourself and big up to all richard brown big up yourself bro more like my father more like my brother everything in our one we're family so big up yourself and um big up to all the actors and actresses that has been working with both paradise nation originals and richard brown films we we'll just love everybody who passed through who is a part of the team, pick up everybody, we'll jam in with, pick up yourself. Understand? Out.